suggest you all put on Spotify in the background, play some good music at low volume, because we're about to solder that monster together. Because this is for the, this is part two! Part two of the Hi-Vi DIY 3.1a, that's that speaker kit for $250. Only 20 left, order soon. How about only 20 left? Build the goddamn speakers, Zeos. And uh, so here's the picture that is, um, apparently it comes with a picture, other places have a different picture, and this is the correct picture. People said, this is the picture. Build it to look like this picture. And I built this one on my live stream, link in the description. And I had fucked some things up and I had a lot of advice for people who solder more than I do because I don't solder like all the time. Like it's, it's a, I can solder, I have a hacko and I can solder. I don't do it all the time. So this is what I'm gonna be building. And it's the crossover network for the Swan DIYs and that wallpaper. I had to do some editing to make that happen. I want to point that out because it takes a lot of work. I don't actually need foobar up either, so you can just have the full thing. Anyway, this, so I'll use this as a reference and not the picture. Um, I have tools behind me I'm probably going to have to go get. Solder, flux, hacko, crossover assembly. Let's unpack the box. I'm tired already. Do I have to do this? Yes, you have to do this. This is some people think this is the best part of the job, and I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. Listening is the best part of the job. Be real gentle with these components, and by that I mean dump them the hell out on the table because this box would take forever to unpack. Okay. Oh, this box is also inside out. Did you make this box in either direction? Interesting. That's very interesting. Honestly, that's interesting that you could... Literally, the box flat can be folded in either direction and has the same things on it. You're going to need speaker wire, which I'm pretty sure it came with speaker wire. I don't, it's been so long since I've done this project. Here's your PCB. Uh, something circuit board, honestly, I don't remember. But um, it's a pretty simple layout. Like, if you're going to learn to solder, this is not the worst a way to go about it. Look, it's got the components. All drawn out, pretty names and everything. Oh, yes. We have our built board. We've got the picture if we need it. I'm um, going to unpack everything here. And I am not an electrical engineer. I cannot go through and say, well, this is a resistor. And this is exactly what this is doing. This is a resistor. I have no idea what it's doing. All you got to know is... Nice. Ami cheerleader. Nice. All you got to know is... um. This is a white box, and it's got a value written on top. 10 watts, uh, 1 ohm J. And this is uh, 10 watts, 1.5 ohm J. So you just have to, I don't think direction. See, here's the thing with building circuits. Sometimes directionality matters, and sometimes directionality does not matter. So on this, I've been told, I think directionality doesn't matter on literally any of the parts. My floor is going to be a mess, but this is... This is the internet, baby. You're in television now. Like here, we've got a capa capacitor, more resistors, whatever. The uh, 10 microfarads, that's UF is microfarad. Yeah, I know. Um, plus or minus 5%, it'd be 250 volt. So we've got how many of these? Should probably have unpacked these before starting, but we're having a good time, right? If you're watching this, you're in for a Zeos video, always. The people who watch my videos, um, have nothing better to do. So, thank you for joining me. And you know what? This is taking too fucking long. This is how you, this is how you fix that when it's taking too long, because I'm not reusing these bags. Just start ripping them. Just start fucking ripping them. It's too much effort. The coils. And now all of these, well, the point of a crossover, if you don't know what the point of a crossover, if you're watching this, you have no idea what the hell, what is that? See us, what is that? Are you building a bomb? Are you a terrorist? No. Nay, I say. Unless sexual terrorism is a thing, in which case, sign me up. Uh, no. Yes, pour this out. Now we're gonna do a, a components check and I would count the board or you can count that on the image. Make sure you've got everything you need. Uh, it's hard to count the board. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Blackies, one, two, three, whiteies, and one, two, three, uh, copper coilies. That's right, we're getting real fucking technical. You want an electrical engineer to solder this together and give you all the actual specs and shit? Find it on the channel. Um, 
uh, these are my wire ties. They do not include these and you need these to strap down the components because like these things will be, well, these don't need them. But these are heavy. These are co coiled copper. And when you solder them to the board, they hold, but they're still heavy. They want to strap them down. Another thing we have to do, which is what I fucked up on the original board here, and it took me a, it was a pain in the dick, is this is covered copper. Like, you see how it's very red? It's not very red because it's just pure. It's very red because there's a coating over it that if you do this, you can see it peels off some of that. So... I'm not going to make that same mistake, and I'm actually going to do that for all of these when I put them on. So we've got four, four, actually there's four of those, three of those, f five of those, some speaker wire, which will be the last thing we put on, and this is what, what are you, uh, mid-range output, so that goes to our mid-range driver, you're the input, this is coming from the back of the speaker, and then we have the tweeter and the woofer outputs, so that's our three-way crossover. And the point of a crossover heat that up while we're waiting and talking. The point of a crossover is to take the signal coming into it, which is all sounds. It's, you know, 20 hertz, which is to 20,000 hertz, which is inaudible to anything but pretty much dogs and newborns, and to break that sound up. So the woofer, the big six inch guts, it only gets that. This will actually, res it'll resist and throw away essentially anything that's not woofer related and send the woofer what it needs. It'll do the same thing for the tweeter and the mid-range. Three ways are a little more complicated than two ways. As anyone who's ever had a three way will tell you, oh, um, but uh, yeah, it's all basically, I mean, there are some two ways. I know, what was it the bottom of my boot cart? One of them has just like, three times as many components in the crossover because they're not just you cannot just fix you know cutting off frequencies you can add delays and change the way loads are handled and there's so many things you could do with crossovers that you could do so much better with an active crossover or like a mini dsp but this is old school we're going old school so um these are the things i have these are the heaviest things and they're going to annoy me if they're on the board first so let's do the light things first and uh, here's the back of the board. So what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to end up plugging things in. Uh, I guess we'll start with the 1.5 and the 1. You want to be able to see. 10 watt 1. Boom, boom, boom. There's little holes. You put the leads. You don't Try not to bend these back and forth like too many times. But there. That's basically it. It's going to stick up out the back. We've got these traces along the back. And these are just what's going to touch all the parts from one to the other. You honestly could assemble this without a board at all. You could just figure out that this needs to touch this, and so whatever this is, is the center of like this coil. So you could just solder all these parts together like that. It's just really not. Oh God, vacuum's running. Oh God, vacuum's running. This is definitely a Z-Review. I want to give vacuum as much space as it can handle, and I don't want it to clean my cat food, so that goes there. Shit. Ugh. What's today? It's vacuum day. You good, buddy? Okay. I just like to give the vacuum oh, none of that. Nope. Okay. All right. And I should have the magnet strip here the fuck out of my room. Do not vacuum my room. What was that, like 60 seconds? Panic, sheer bloody panic. Where were we? Welcome to C Reviews. This is life. This is why you need to follow my Twitch stream. It's like, what is that noise? Um, our hackos heated up. Heated up, has, he has reached peak heat. Uh, I really need a tool, not that, 
probably you, my smallest flat screwdriver. Um, once we're done soldering all these things on, which let me show you, let me get the first one soldered on. I'm gonna take a little bit of this red gel, which is, it helps promote soldering and sticking and all the good things in life. Clean that off. I've actually got a wet sponge here for once. Take your solder. You don't have to keep it on the roll. You can take a little bit. And we're just going to touch here so it gets hot and then push some solder into it. Come on. And it should attach itself to the board. You're gonna see some bubbles. This is taking way too long and then I cut it off. That was actually a perfect solder. It got hotter than that. Also, make sure you make sure that your shit isn't like that and you solder it in place. Or else you have to desolder it to push it down. Putting it down flat on the surface helps. But also keep on like it's doing that. I was worried about my air conditioner making noise. Now I got a goddamn solder solder vacuum. So here, you usually hold, heat up the components you want to solder to, and then feed. There we go. Those are actually perfect joints, and it'll, it'll just it's solid almost instantly. So I don't know if you can see that, but little teepees. You want like a little TP mountain with the thing sticking out the top. Now what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna use this for all of them, but we are going to cut these off. I have a right angles snips that'll do it. Unless we just go as we're going. I think that might be better because some people like to do it at the very end. I think we do one at a time, we will have a better time with our time. I'm gonna drop that in the water dish. So yeah, that's, that's one component. So now literally rinse and repeat. Now that was the one on, that was a 10 1 J. Now we got the 10 1.5 J. So repeat again. Again, down. This stuff uh, gives you cancer. So don't fuck with it too bad. And I need more than that. Because as this boils down, this flux, it will drag the solder down with it. This is, this is, you need, even if you have rosin core solder, you, you need, you need rosin. I really should just cut off a piece of this. Make this light, make my life a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. You could make loops and do any sort of thing you want. Touch, boils, hold, feed, loop around, left, done. That's it. And this, uh, trust me, no one taught me how to solder. This is just fucking up for years and you get used to fucking up and then eventually you decide, I don't want to fuck up anymore. You watch a YouTube video on it. Two. And again, I'm pretty sure orientation doesn't matter left or right, but what the hell's the difference? Follow the way the picture looked. Let's cut this off. These are my German Nipex, by the way. I paid way too much for these. I paid like $35 for these, but I've heard of Nipex. And I found them in like a Sears crazy outlet store that only sells tools. And I'm like, I've always wanted to, like that, that was my big like, I've made it in this world because I own a single pair of Nipex German made pliers. And you know what? You, you can fucking tell they're German. You could just tell that there's like precision in them. And this was the most useful of the Nipex they had there. Look, it's got like wire crimps and wire strips and whatever that is. That's to crimp the little flat ones and come back. Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, um, I should have a paper towel here to wipe the excess rosin. I'm gonna fight the vacuum for. Oh wait, paper towels. I have always. I always have paper towels because I've got to clean components off constantly. What? Did you die? I just heard it make a beep noise and I don't hear it. I don't see it. This is like a child going lost. Where'd you go, baby? Did it stuck under the couch? Yeah, got wedged under the couch. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, do thing again. This is going to be a babysitting episode. 
It's the first time it's gotten stuck. I wonder why. We're back. I told someone this would take probably less than an hour. Not if I'm babysitting. Not gonna take less than an hour. I just don't want to cover my. By the way, this is just the Rocat mouse pad turn backwards. It's a great surface. The black surface, like if you're ever gonna use it in a mouse pad again, you don't want to fuck the top up. So, boom. Might as well get all these on there. Straighten them out gently. You don't want to be like bending them back and forth and just, just gentle. Gentle. And I would normally be doing music while this is going on, but YouTube, no bueno. And I really, really am not feeling a lot of the, like, or when I say a lot, I mean any copyright-free music. Give me copyrights, strikes, or give me death. Well, you probably give me both. All right. So that should be good there. It's not, just want to make sure it's not doing that thing where it tilts. Uh... Touch, hold, melt, hot, feed, 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 fill, spool. If you if you do that and it gets stuck, you just have to like touch the soldering iron to it and it'll just cut it down. But that's a beautiful little bubble we got going on there. You'll know how much to push and how hard from like three of these. And uh, do you need a hacko? Do you need like a nine? I think I paid ninety bucks for this hacko, and this is like one of the higher rated ones because it is—it's obviously designed in Japan for kindergartners. But it's really nice to be able to put the, like I could just turn the temperature up precisely, or down if uh, different types of solder, or if something's really sensitive to heat. Like I don't know, fucking the drivers on eighty two thousand X's. Yeah, this is going to be much better to start doing this all at once. Alright, um, next. That one. That one, which is the only strange one. No lettering is this way. I see it says C5 on it, and I'm sure there's a map somewhere that'll do this, but I don't care. I've got a picture on the internet, and I built one already, so we're just going to do that. And this is going to stick up a little more and rock. So, what you could do is bend it like that so that it doesn't fall off or out. And that will guarantee it's not going to uh, move when we turn it upside down. No, nope, not you yet. If it makes it in here, I'm gonna be real upset. I'm gonna have to figure out a new way to put those magnets on the floor. Because they sell those magnet strips. It's actually, I was amazed at the cheapness, like the actual lack and cost of like replacement filters and everything. It's like $8 for four. That's unheard of. That should be, that's where they usually rip you off. Touch. Feed. Lift. Oh, that's a bubble. You don't want it to look like a ball. If it looks like a ball and not like a teepee, um, redo. So, touch, heat, feed. Oh, we're stuck. That one's perfect. And that one's perfect. Perfect as it gets. I should just get my round angle cutters because this is going to get real old real soon. Okay. You know, this is this is like minimum tools. You can use a toothpick as long as you have this. Uh, next. The big one? No, let's do the small one. The small one. I'm going like literally by size and not... What you should do is you should read and match actual amounts. I wish it said the actual value on the board and not just component one. You know, capacitor one, capacitor two. Resistor one, resistor two. Oh! Here's an interesting dilemma. They didn't pop this hole in the board. Okay, that's a new one. Let's get out. How small do you get? You get pretty small, but I'm not sure if you're small enough. Do I have? Oh, that's real tiny. Uh, 
Oh, wait, the hole is there. I just threw that on the floor, it's fine. Oh, no, having bad luck today. It's just too small for this, so let's, all right, let's. Just gonna try to clear, like a thumbtack would probably be better because thumbtacks are pointy. Um, do I have anything else that's like smaller? Because this drill bit's like as small as I got going on right now. Where did I put my drill bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the diameter is too small. And this might be too big. I need... What do I need? I need to stop. I, I promise you I sprayed this chair to try to get it to stop squeak, squeaking with every amount of lube in every corner of it. And she just doesn't care. She's just, I'm going to squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Huh. Mechanical pencil, let's see. Where's my hole? Where's my hole? That's what the question always is. Okay. Let's see if I can get that in there. What you can do instead of fucking up your lead is take one of the other leads you cut off and just see if you can get that in there. Yes, you can. All right, so I've opened it up enough. There we go. And that's just something that happens sometimes. That's just nice and tight. Tight, tight, tight. Walter White. I'll bend them opposite directions like that so that it's easier to solder later. Paint on some red love. Mm, I love me some red love. Perfection achieved. Don't be afraid to get real close and inspect your work. There's a giggity in there somewhere. fucking future bro there's robots cleaning my house and I run a robot dishwasher but not a dishwasher I want a robot that stands at my sink and does my dishes because you know it's all about that slavery so now I think these are the same value they are the same value so it doesn't matter which one we pick and they go bottom and top so we'll do bottom we'll do bottoms first Get it down, get it straight, bendy, bendy. That one's up in the air, so you have to bend that one. I'm probably gonna push down when I do it anyway. Too much, still too much, not enough. It's a very delicate balance, this game. You'll figure this out too. Don't put globs of it on there, but put enough. It's just gonna make a, a slight mess. It's gonna melt, it's gonna spread. And then you're gonna attach. That's too much. See, that's automatically too much. Sometimes you could feed the solder into the component you're attaching, and sometimes you have to feed it into the iron. You usually want to usually want to just feed it into the gap between the two. And you can see how much we're using. We've used like no solder, solder. This is the easy stuff. We're going to get to the hard stuff in a bit. Mm. Yeah, this is much better. When I did this originally, I left all the things sticking up. I'm like, why? Why would you do that? I see other people who solder do that. And it's like, why would you do that? Cut that shit off immediately. And give it a wipe. Hmm. I have to give this whole back of this board a nice rub rubbing alcohol. Okay, one more, and then we move on to the actually two more. 
And then we move on to the other components. The bad components. And I say bad in a good way. Like the Michael Jackson bad. They're just big and heavy and require you to do a lot of shit with um, zip ties. Things you never imagined possible with zip ties. Ah, so many zip ties. Oh, I hear it, but it's not in the room yet. That's a, a, just a dab will do ya. Some people don't do this at all, and then I'm gonna give this. A, every once in a while, I just like in the foil, I'm give it a wipe. It may not look dirty, trust me. Clean it off, it'll be so much better. Touch, hot, feed, paint. Touch, hot, feed, paint. Just gotta give it a little bit like, mmm. Sometimes just, and you take it off, but sometimes you gotta paint. Oh, what am I grabbing? I think I was grabbing this. I was actually squeezing this one because it's up too high. Did I lose that little titty that I just... I just cut off a little titty. Little titties are the best, but I cut them off anyway. Of course, you're watching. I don't need this. This is confusing my eyes. Did I put that real bit back? Yes. Okay, so now we've got... One more... Horizontal capacitor, which goes here. Labeling up. Mm. Mm. Now here's the problem with putting together the crossover. And the reason that it's like I put it off is because there's no way to tell if I did this right. A little too much there. So I like to use a screwdriver because it's like you can scrape and reapply and wipe that off and do not put that in your mouth or stab it in your eye because cancer is bad okay touch hot feed feed harder if you notice it's not doing the right thing take it off don't leave this on there and keep because this, this keeps conducting heat down into the components is bad do not so just try again try a different location and now feed There we go. A little bigger lump than I like. And I try to work. Oh, yeah. Paint. I don't, know, I don't work this. I have to work in. I hope the camera's picking it up. It's hard to judge. Unless you're dread. Then it's really easy to judge. Guilty. Five years in the ISO cubes. Let's have a sip of water. Let's admire my wallpaper. A lot of work went into that one because I had to. That ends there. The original artwork ends there, and I'm like, that's too good a thing. And a rope's not hard to extend. The the, the paint in the wall doing the repeating action. Like this is all dark purple, so I was able to sort of hide what I did there. And then this bit here between the ropes, like those columns in the background, I had to go and. Uh, clone brush them up and make it look, you know, real. Fuck this whole thing I'm doing. Download and admire the wallpaper. Effort went into that. And it's a beautiful thing. It's just, it's just so pretty to think of just Indian anime girls cliff diving to paint weird patterns on walls. It's great. Let's dry this off. Dry it off. I mean, dab it. Don't forget to dab. Don't forget to dab essential to all soldering all right now okay we'll do the baby one first because it's so fucking chibi and cute now you'll note that one comes out on the outside of the spool and one comes out on the inside of the spool and here's where the fun happens because this is protected because they're coiled like this you don't want this part contacting this part contacting this part you want just the length to so it's basically an insulated wire and what I did last time is I fucked up because I've never soldered these on before you have to peel off this insulation so 
you can, let me see if I can do it with this. Mm, I see I'm getting a little bit of it, a little bit of red showing up there. What would be the best way to do it? Burn it off? I mean, you can see it's exposing it, but you, it's almost impossible to get solder to stick to it also. It was fun. I made a fun day for myself. It was fucking fun. Where is my... I just need a rough, like, grabby grab that is not German. Why are you in here? Why are there Cat5 connectors in there? I don't even know if the tool's in there. Here's my right angle clippers, which will make life a lot easier. Coming up. That's rough. I need something with rough teeth. Giggity. Oh yeah, there you go. So get yourself a nice set of West German, what are you called? VBW Wagon, W-A-G-G-O-N. These came out of a Saab toolkit. And the guy threw away the Saab and I'm like, I'm keeping this. So what we're doing is we're stripping this as close to the base as possible. Because when we go through the PCB, it's gonna just have that much to attach to. So the end here I'm stripping, which is, it doesn't matter there. What matters is here, let me better roll it. And this is the part, oh, maybe we could just do that, hold on. We're learning, this is literally the first time I'm putting this together. Oh, that's, that's actually working pretty well. So I'm gonna do that. And then give it a pull. Yeah, and that's, that's there's a lot of good copper exposed now. Give that a little bit of a... And keep in mind, I'm not squeezing this hard. I'm, I'm just barely enough to, to grab onto it. If I squeeze it hard, then I'll be twisting the copper. And if this breaks off, especially the inside one, you're pretty fucked. If the outside one breaks off, you could take a loop off and fix it. But the inside one, you know, no, bad. You would have, you would have done bad. So I got better grip back there. And I, I had to get on my, um, like I said, you can't check this. You have to turn it on to check it. But I got my multimeter out and checked for connectivity. And literally where this is supposed to touch that, it wasn't working. Because I didn't do what I just did, which is strip this plastic off. Get a little more off with my fingers. A little bit. Let's see how much pops out. Let's see how much the pop is. Now, it's not hard to fuck. It's not easy to fuck this up. It's not easy to fuck this up. Yes, it is hard to fuck this up. Because... One is on the inside of the loop and one is on the outside. And you can see one hole is here and one hole is there. So it's really like, you got one way to put this in. If you put this in wrong, this is your bad. You are bad. We definitely have exposed copper at where it needs to be. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's the same procedure. Man, the screwdriver looks like I use it in a murder spree. Paint on some red love. Call it red love because it's cancerous. The smoke is also cancerous, but I'm using my my ceiling fan today, so less death and destruction. Touch. This is gonna take a second longer to heat up because it's a thicker, heavier gauge than the um, resistors that we used previous. Get it on there. Ooh. That actually didn't loop around entirely, so I'm going to go back in from this side. Yeah, just a little longer. Because what you ideally want is you want the, th the two things that you're soldering together to get as hot as this. And once those are as hot as they are, then this will just melt between them. You know, this iron is not there to melt this solder. This iron's there to heat both components up from contact. That red gel helps, and then you just feed onto both the things, and it's like, I'm sticking! I'm sticking to both these things. That's actually pretty damn perfect. And now we'll use the correct tool to snip, which is these writing. I'll link to a set of these. Lots of, whoa! Yeah, these are also cut much, much more violently than the soft fucking tin. So watch your eyes. I'm not wearing glasses. So I'm just gonna like grab it, put my finger on it. This way it doesn't go very far. If it shoots out and hits your cat in the eye, I'll be upset. Don't do. Do not do. 
All right, and now this is the first one. This has holes for zip ties. It's a tiny one, and I did it on that, so I have to do it on this, and I really wouldn't, but um, I kind of have to. And since I'm OCD as fuck, I've got to do it exactly in the same orientation, too, where the box is in the middle. So we go down, up, zip, And then we have to do the same thing here. So down. I mean, if you were building these crossovers for like a car, for like car audio, apps are fucking lootly. Because you don't want to be hitting that bump on I-95 and it's like, hmm, why does my stereo sound funny all of a sudden? Uh, because your stereo just fell apart. Internally, Make your crossover components have failed. Oh, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Max, where are you? There you are. We get to use the right angle nippers on this too. Okay. Best bet is to push down. <sighs> Feed with your thumb. Because we're just... Actually, that's the wrong way. I did backwards. I did it completely backwards. She's done already? Or the battery die? Yeah. I'm sure someone's like, why aren't you using one of these? Don't pull too hard. If you yank this thing off the board, bad news. Tight enough. That was a very short amount of time that thing ran for. The very first time I ran it, it ran for like an hour. Maybe just the text is not dirty? I don't know. I don't know how the thing functions. It's great though. Okay, there's one. Repeat. Uh, do I want to go with the fucking long one or the two heavy ones? I think I'm going to go with the long one. Just because it's going to bias the weight to one side of the board. Now this... This is where, where the... Because this one you can fuck up and put backwards. I think. I, I don't, Again, I don't know if these don't matter if they're reversible or not. It may be not. But I'm not taking any chances. Theos is the guy who takes all the chances. Oh, she's done. She clearly played the sound like I'm done. I'm cleaning. Maybe the bag's filled up. No, I emptied the I emptied the container. We could pull this one away and and strip it, which is nice. Oh! Get a good grip, so when you pull it, you don't flip it exactly into the spot it needs to be, or on your phone, or onto the floor, or into the cat's water dish. I should have fucked this up properly. Basically, you're just fucking it up. I mean, if you're good at fucking things up, this is your best part. Now, also keep in mind that since we have such a long length here, if I take this and twist, we may actually be twisting the length. So keep an eyeball. Like you have to physically see it getting fucked if you do that. So that should be good. That sucked. That gave me like one of those like, ah, moments. You probably get a knife also and scrape this. Let's see. Nah. Yeah, I want to do all three. I'm, this does, like, the entirety of the fucking up. So it's pretty good. Give, it, give a little bit of that, you know, Pumba and... Jeff, it's actually really quiet now that that, ro that robot stopped cleaning. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> and just for OCD's sake. One, two, and there's little holes that line up too. Um, exposed copper is good. Uh, I might want to zip tie this before I do it. I think I'm going to zip tie it before I do it. Which way do we go? Because it's a big heavy component that sticks up way further than everything else. And it'll be a lot easier to solder it properly if I'm not doing like a half ass balancing act. I'm looking at that one because I'm trying to match it. Come on. 
get it in the hole. Okay, one. You're gonna stab yourself in the stomach a little bit when you do this, by the way. Just, just, just saying. And this is when you definitely have to put zip ties on. It's too heavy. Okay. What am I cutting with this one? You are done, basically. Just need you. Line those up for OCD. Flippy flip. Checking the copper one last time. We're good. God, it's so quiet in here. It's so quiet. I really wish there was music. Playing. I told you to put Spotify on at the beginning of this. I can't listen to music while doing it, but you guys can. I'm gonna get this all done with one. Mm, the speaker wire is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Come on. I know you're heavy. Wow, she's being real. There we go. Just more time. Come on. Need more. There we go. Big fat wad. Get off there. I usually use a wedge tip. My wedge tip seems to be getting very thin now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those are actually really good. That one's perfect. That one's got a little bit of a divot there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. Hard on myself. Okay, wipey wipe. Learning to solder with Zeos. Trust me, I am not the person to teach you how to solder. I'm just here to show you exactly how long it takes to put together a crossover. And when I built the first one, I could have built the second one, but I knew I had to make this video and I've literally put it off for like a month. And it's not that hard to do, it just... Uh, <laughs> it's the sound that comes out of my mouth. My body makes that sound when it's like, hey, do this because you have to, but I don't want to do it. So now as soon as this is done, by the way, um, I get to turn off the camera and then turn the camera back on and actually assemble the speakers. Like this is, the only thing that was preventing me from running the speakers was this one crossover. Because if I don't care about finishing it, like finishing, finishing, not finishing like I'm finished, like proper pretty finishing, I finish the speakers with wood grain or I finish it with vinyl. If I don't care about that, and I'm probably gonna review them as MDF boxes. And then if I keep them, which I'm probably gonna keep them, unless my brother or something can use them. Because, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! I have so many speakers. Um, gently, don't grab too hard, Z's. Z's. There we go. Yes. Okay, same deal. Uh, these are identical, by the way. <laughs> I dropped it on my nuts while I'm at it. Those are identical, and I know I'm going to clean them both off before I start soldering again. You could just clean all of these off before you start anything. You could just have everything ready to go, and then you wouldn't be where I am right now. Lost. Sweaty. Try not to run that air conditioner, because it's fucking... It's May... And it's 90 degrees outside. I'm serious. Like 90. Like 90, which is like 37 or something in fucking Celsius. Hot. It's like, hey, what's it going to be up? Hot. Oh, your air conditioner on? Yeah, hot. Perfect. So, yeah, you give a little bit of script. What I'm finding works best is I give it like one or two of these full long pulls. Not too tight. Remember, fuck's sake, do not destroy your components. But you need to scrape it. And then grab it and twist. And actually, the rougher the front of your pliers, the better. If you have brand new pliers, it's probably not going to be as rough and fucked up 
as these old West German motherfuckers. They're, they're doing a nice job. Uh huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Since I did you first. Actually, I actually could do them both at the same time. <gasps> oh my god, the efficiency. Anyway, we're gonna line this up here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go for a double. Are you shitting me, hole? Hole, are you shitting me, hole? Are you too small, hole? You're not. Okay. The hole is not shitting me, ladies and gentlemen. It's just really tight. There's one. And there's two. I'm so glad that happened. <laughs> Alexa, read alert. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Steven's shipment has arrived for two-in-one lightning audio plus charger adapter for iPhone 10, 10, iPhone 8, slash 8, plus iPhone 7, slash 7, plus headset, earphone, dot, headphone, audio splitter, and charger adapter. A. A? fucking Canadian um yeah I got the alert that that was shipping and I heard it said that to me and I'm like bitch don't you ever say that to me again um it really needs to like not just read what the Amazon thing is because that's terrifying a Come on. same dealio strapping getting my strap on on and I want this to end like right. Mm. Push. There we go. One. Stabbing my desk now. And you think you're going to be done. You're like, oh, Zeus is almost done. No, that wire's got to get cut up. And you've got to estimate the lengths because you go into different drivers inside a box. And you don't want to fuck up the lengths. The lengths. So, and they only give you a certain amount, and you have to like cut it in half and say, okay, half of you, and then say, well, one's got to go to the back panel, one's got to go to the woofer, one, and you got to have enough length that when you, I did these identical, right? When you go to the fucking driver that you could still have the driver come out and be in your hands with the wire attached no one wants to be putting together a speaker and have like three inches of, of wire like i gotta attach this and then put it in so i tried to be real conscious of that when i cut the lengths of those there we go look at that that's an estimate motherfucker one one extra. How many? One. I would have to go dig through my other box if I hadn't... I just can't fuck this one up. Oh god, what if it breaks? Oh god, what if I fuck it up? I don't only have one extra. It's like that one match at the end of Fifth Element. Anybody got fire? Anybody got matches? Anybody got matches? Chris Tucker, man. Chris Tucker, that's one of those... You ever you ever know... Like Matthew Roderick and Ferris Bueller. Let me give you the... the I'll just start going off on my one of my Zeos rants. Some actors should should stay in the roles, like their most popular roles. Just stay in it. Matthew Broderick as Matthew Broderick as Matthew Broderick, and it's like, eh. But Ferris motherfucking Bueller? Could you imagine if Matthew Broderick just decided, um, I'm done being an actor, I'm just going to be Ferris Bueller. Just, just behave that way. Just be Ferris Bueller. Oh my God, what a life you could live. I mean, he would have had money from being Matthew Broderick. And that would have probably helped him live out the dream of being fucking Ferris Bueller. Because he didn't do much. I mean, like Godzilla. He did Godzilla. He did the, the cable guy with Jim Carrey, which was like a... Oof, God. Anyone ever see the cable guy with Jim Carrey? Because it's like... Ugh. It's cringe. It's like trying to be serious. And trying to be horrifying. And succeeding at both. Seriously horrifying. These are much smaller contact patches. Hmm, yeah. Massage you around. Just like thighs. Come on. Get hot. Lay down. I 
Come on. I just want that lump gone. Oh, that's way, way too much fucking good stuff. Look how well it melts, though. Okay. I need to clipper. If I do this right, I can do and I can hold all of them. That one didn't snap satisfyingly. Okay. Is guy? Is guy. Alright, so after fighting the vacuum. Now that's done. Well, it's almost done. Now the fucking now the nightmare happens. We're zip tied, we're cleaned. Solid. Can't test this again. The test will be literally plugging. I'm gonna assemble the speaker and turn it on. And if any of these traces are fucked up, any of the things doesn't contact, anything's blown, I won't know until I know. Oh, I should really cut the lengths. All right, Langavisa first. I want to. If I fucked up this first one, I'm just gonna match the fuck up. Just, just fully match the fuck up. I let go of the wrong one. Let's do this one at a time. Let's do this one at a time. Uh, take, tear, separate. We don't have to go very far because we're just going into the board and I should be able to strip it with this. Again, you're literally putting it through that hole and soldering it just like we did. Oh, that's too big. So now we're back to soldering speaker wire. Try to keep the table a mess. Try to keep the table not a mess. It's one of those two. Look at wallpaper. Breathe calmly. Because now it's when we get to like little pieces of copper floating around and shit. And it's like, I want to stab somebody in the eye. Squeeze, wiggle, pull. We shouldn't lose any copper that way. If you do the right size. Go up a size bigger, better than a size smaller. Now I'm going to give these a twist, because we need them to be sort of tight when we put them through the hole. And now here's the hard part, because we've got to flip this over. We've got to stick this through and solder it in place. Now that we have all the components on it, it'll at least sit up off the desk. I'm probably going to use this as a helper. Uh, so which one was this? This is the mid-range output, right? This is the one I measured off of. Okay, so mid-range output is where we're going. You're the solo one down here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to tin this and put it through. I'm just going to try to... Mm, should I probably tin it? I should probably tin this. All right. It's an extra step, but we'll have to... We have to fucking... I need solid things to go through this board. But if I tin it, it's going to be thicker. I also want to make sure I get the, the hot side correct. So, yeah. Positives there. Red stripe there. Lettering there. Anything that's the indicator is what I go with. Can I do this without flipping the board over? No. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feed the raw. It's a pretty big holes. You know, they're pretty big holes. I'm gonna tin this. How we tin? We go touch. Uh, I will usually just put some solder on there and then just hold it down and drag over, and I have enough to do both. Sometimes you touch the bottom too. And all that does is sort of stick all that shit together, all those little strands, so you don't feel like I could just do that. It's not going to fuck up the ends. That's, that's it. That's why we're doing this. Okay. Flip this back to the right direction. So now I can stick it through the holes, and it's just like having the pins, only heavier. So when we go to do this, and so now i got to hold this. So that's what I was talking about with... Actually... Uh, uh. So I sort of need it to be held like that. This is where you need to get uh, creative. More goop. Move the tools that you're going to be leaning on. And 
there's a big hole here, a big hole that you have to fill. So you're going to use more solder. Like that's just, I'm just losing solder. Fuck, I've literally lost a ball of solder onto the fucking table. Oh. There we go. So be mindful of that. You may lose solder down. I'm going to actually solder to the board first. I'm just going to basically tin the board and then bridge. Bridge and paint. Stop. There we go. Let's say I efficiently use that piece. One down. Yeah, a lot of it pushed pushed through. It actually melted the uh, the coating. But all right, there's one. Three to go. Uh, there's my length. Give me my cut cuts. Give me my cut cuts. I love my cut cuts. You got a valley girl the shit out of this. Let's go length. Doesn't have to be super accurate. We just want to get a rough estimate. And I'm not gonna. I'm not peeling this far apart. Just enough, and then we're gonna go in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Pull. Drop. It's very quiet. It's a very quiet YouTube video. Zeals can't figure out what to talk about for an hour, two hours. Oh shit! The camera's not running. I just that would be. You just wouldn't get this video. I might just throw the whole speaker set in the garbage. Just, just fuck it. Fuck it. Can I use this last little bit to tin? Let's see. <laughs> smoke. Smoke, cancer smoke is fun. Okay. Tinning is complete. This is the other solo one. Solo, Han Solo one. Red is on the back side. That goes here. And here. It could actually probably hold itself if I do that. Look at that. Theos is cooking with butter. That's a Married with Children reference. I'm going to say what my references are because most people aren't getting them. And they're really, really like obscure and people should be impressed. Now you're cooking with butter. This is like, ooh, got that doobie. Pass that doobie, bro. Pass that doobie. We're cheap as fuck. I'm gonna do the same thing where I tin the um the actual board and then just connect. Yeah, guess what I need? Lots more. Like that's enough. There's a hole there. I don't care. But I'm just gonna start losing it down. You get some get some solder on the iron. Just basically, you're tinning. Get the fuck off. Fall down. Sometimes you gotta clean this off. Like mid mid solder. There's a lot of weird waste that happens. I'm painting the donut, and then I'm gonna start connecting the donut to the hot dog. <laughs> Connect the donut to the hot dog. Are you learning? Soldering for 12 year olds. Well, what am I saying? Soldering for four year olds. It's a piece of something. This will be the cleanest this desk I've ever been after a solder job. Um, hardly anything here to clip. I'm gonna clip this though. That's good. Is there anything to clip on this? A little bit. Little bits. Little bit. Little bit. Okay. Two left. So now, what did I do with the lengths on these? Did I just leave them the same? They look roughly the same. So I'm just going to fold this. Actually, wait, which one's which? One's woofer and one's tweeter. So. God, I hope this is the right length. Yeah, which one did I leave a little bit longer? The tweeter, all right. A little bit longer. 
with the tweeters up top, but you want a lot of room to manipulate the woofer. So, longer one tweeter. Tweeter. We're doing the tweeter. Remember that we're doing the tweeter. Remember, wallpaper girl who's painting that thing, we're doing the tweeter. Actually, she's painting. I'm painting with solder. It's the same thing. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, wrong way. Flip tool around. Do proper wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Pull. Drop. I wouldn't want to do this all day. Soldering is like, I enjoy being able to solder because most people are like, I can't solder and it's not that hard. It's just heat. Hot, melty metal. Then you, it's just the prep to getting the metal to stick properly. Uh, touch, just touch. All I need is touch. I'm forever touch. Touch, I remember touch. Patience in my mind. I don't remember the actual words. I just know that I could sing that song eventually. Okay, you were the long one, right? Double checking. Double check your brain, Z. Yes. So we got to find the tweet tweet, which is this one. We'll, this one and the hot is on the right. So can I do the same thing like I just did? I don't think I can. A patient in my mind. If I pull you out, never pull out. Oh, commit. There, if I can just get, I'm just getting the table to hold it in place. As long as I don't slide the thing back and forth, it should be tight. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Adhesion promoter. That's what we'll call that. I'll put you here, because God knows how much I'm going to need. Painting the contact points. Tinning the board. If you happen to make contact and it's like connecting, well, that's what can benefit. Perfect. And that'll probably work at this point, but I'm going to go and uh, I'm in a weird, awkward spot. Beautiful. Nice. I could have probably done all four like I did the last thing, but uh, fuck it. But uh, fuck it. Now you're fucking with butter. Mm. Don't use butter as a lube. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'll talk to Jay about it. Because if anyone's tried, it's my cousin Justin. I'll talk, I'll talk to the woman about it. She'll give me the real lowdown. He might have loved it. Ball. There we go. Someone has a sign. Spring! I don't know. We should discuss. Talk amongst yourself in the comments. There's not much to see in this video. It's just, it's just, just ha it's one of those things. Where'd that go? I didn't hear it fall. It's one of those things that has to be done. And it's just, I have to film it. And I got to show you how long it's going to take. I'm just not editing because I'm like, I could have stopped the camera and be like, and here's how we put these components together and we're done. And that's bad. This is how long it takes. You want to know what it's going to take? You're going to watch the entire thing happen, then you're going to do it. And you're not going to have a single, like, misconception of how long it takes. Because you're actually watching the entire thing take place. Okay. Hot right now. So now we do that. Patient in my mind. How was I awkward before? I was awkward and I was like, I don't want to do this because this feels awkward. So let's turn this a bit. Mm. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, this should be the last bit of soldering we need to do. And then I get to go see what my room, I call it Roomba. It's not Roomba, it's Botvac. It's Neato Botvac. It's a Neato Botvac, God damn it. Let's see why he only did a short run. Melt all the Sizzlax. Mm. 
I already got contact on both. Done. I'm a little prettier than that. Not like I'm being judged, but we done. I'm gonna clip off the, clip the nips. Let that cool down and try not to get this in your eye. Try not to get it in your eye and try not to lose it. Cause stepping on that in about two weeks, that's gonna suck. Especially when they're like perfect little squares of sharp jagged metal. Could you leave them on? Sure, why not? Why would you want to? Because we are gonna mount this to the board. Actually, I'm gonna mount this. He's gotta mount it slightly raised. I'm gonna have to get my spacers out of my, um, what's it called, box? There we go. All right, we are the world. Oh, I'm still in there, okay. And now it's gone, now it's gone. Fuck. Wipe that off, wipe this off. While this is still hot, wipe that off. Yeah, it's clean. Good tool, tool, tool. Three tools if you don't count this one, because that could be a toothpick. Let's cap the cancer. Wrap the solder. So we need, this is what you need. Look at what you need. Your soldering iron does not have to be this nice, but I do recommend it. This, 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 and eventually, you should be done and get, oh, it's just so greasy. God, it's like I cooked on this. I want your cat play with this. But we now has uh, crossover components. And I get to save one thing. You don't need drill bitch, usually. Usually. You belong in there. Wait, that's audio. That's audio. You belong. Adhesive and fasteners. Adhesives and fasteners is down there. You and all this garbage. So we're done now. This box is done. All this little shit boxes are done. How long did that take? 45 minutes? With the vacuum? And the cameras are running, so it was less than like an hour and a half. <sighs> okay, so, um... Yeah, it's, it's actually cut sunny out. Oh, there's some shit that I found. Oh. God, the sun's out. It's going to hit 90 degrees in May. Look how, oh, look at the vacuum. Oh, it's so clean. But it's, a cat, it's one of the cat's food dishes, so I think I'll give that a wash now that I've put literally cancer in it. All right. Look how clean the floor is. I love you. Look at it. It hides under the couch. I gotta really get that set up so it's not crooked. Um. Yes. Take my furniture off the thing. It, it did a full job. It did a full job. It could have probably done this better, but I had the magnet. All right, links to everything in the description. I'll link to as many of these tools as I could find. I'll link to a soldering iron that you can use, which you're gonna need. Um, obviously I'll link to the speaker kit. Hopefully it's still available. Should have used a wipey wipe. Anyway, I'm linking to things, and I'm linking to that fucking wallpaper, which none of you can use unless you have a 21 by 9 like that, and you turn it sideways. So she's painting the ceiling on a rope? I don't know. I'm just proud of the work I did on that. It came out beautiful. All right, now to assemble the speakers. Probably today. It doesn't have to be today. Maybe I'll do it. You know what? What's today? Today's Friday. Wait till the Sunday stream. Um, I'll probably assemble them on the Sunday stream and I'll record with my 60 FPS camera and my heavy breathing. That'll be fun.